Hello everyone. Now in this video, I will let you know how to program your ESP8201 board with your Arduino board using Arduino firmware. So watch this video till the end. I will let you know how to do this. So let's get started. Now this video may look similar to my previously uploaded video but trust me this is different. Now previously I uploaded a video on programming an ESP8266 board using the AT command firmware of course using an Arduino board. And secondly I uploaded a video of programming ESP8266 board using Arduino firmware but by with the help of USB to TTL converter. So this video is totally different as compared to those videos. And uh, secondly, I made I'm making this video tutorial for just for my subscribers. I got uh, some of the messages and comments uh, of making this kind of video of programming using Arduino board using Arduino firmware. So without wasting time, let's move on to our target. So first of all, you'll require one ESP8266 module and a Arduino board. Uh, you can use any Arduino board, your Uno, Mega, Nano. In my case, I'm using this Mega board and the connections between these two are something like this. Okay, so now moving towards the code sites. First of all, you need to open your Arduino software. Okay, so go to file, preferences. Okay, so you need to copy and paste this link in additional boards manager URLs. Now we will be attaching this link in the video description so you can directly copy and paste it here. So after pasting it, you click on OK, then go to tools, boards and then to boards manager. Now in this boards manager, you will find a option or a, uh, yeah, something like this, this like ESP8266 by ESP8266 community. Uh, uh, make sure that you are you are connected to the internet right now. I'm not connected uh, uh, With the internet, but I don't require at all because I already installed all the boards So in your case yeah, here you will be finding one install button So you need to install some board packages which are must uh, For programming using Arduino firmware so click here on click on the install button and it will take some uh, Take some time for downloading these packages after that uh, click on ok And close so okay Okay, now you are ready with the board packages. Now this was the one time setup you need to do uh, just once and after that uh, let's move on uh, to our actual target on uploading the code. So for that go to the files, uh, examples. Now in this video I will be showing by uploading the example of Wi-Fi scan in my ESP266 board. So into examples, uh, uh, you need to, okay, before that you need to select the boards. Yes, this is important. Until and unless you select the ESP266 board, the example won't appear. So I will just go to this boards and I have just uh, selected still I will let you know I select this ESP8266 generic ESP8266 model which is nothing but an ESP8266 one module So you need to first select this board then go to files then examples Then now you'll find this all uh, uh, Example codes then I will go to ESP8266 Wi-Fi and enter into Wi-Fi scan So this is the Wi-Fi scan example. I will straight away uh, upload after verifying my com port. Okay, com port is okay. So I'll just click on this upload button and just make sure that all the connections are ready. Okay, one thing I need to discuss. Uh, you must have observed the connection of ESP266 with the uh, Arduino board, uh, in which the GPIO zero pin of ESP266 board is connected with the ground of Arduino. Now this is must uh, at the time of uploading the code. Once the code is uploaded, you can remove that connection. Okay, so it is being uploaded. But yes, as uh, if you want to upload the code, then the GPIO zero pin of ESP8266 must be connected to the ground. If it is not connected to the ground, the code won't be uploaded onto your ESP board. So code is uploaded. I will just go to the serial monitor and observe the result. I think there is one Wi-Fi network available. Okay, no networks available. I'll just turn on my phone's hotspot and it will let you know that this code is working. Uh, okay. Okay, as you can observe, the one network found is nothing but my mobile uh, hotspot. So this is how we can upload any code onto our ESP266 board, just like as we upload onto our Arduino boards. So it's that easy. 
so okay i hope uh, you got all your doubts cleared and if you still have any doubt regarding this project you can definitely comment below this video or you can directly connect with me on my whatsapp number which is written in the description below and yes if you can directly ask me uh, regarding making any project tutorials or uh, doubts for your particular ongoing project you can definitely connect with me on my whatsapp number or you can even casually message me on that number so okay so ending this video here and if you are new to this channel do subscribe this channel for upcoming iot and electronic project tutorials and uh, yeah till then explore learn share with me techie sms